Hello, and welcome back to Timelines AI Support. In this video, we'll continue reviewing the Zoho ZRM integration. We'll review some details that we synchronize within the leads and also the live WhatsApp chat extension. In this case, uh, after configuring the integration and how it should work when it comes to the leads that you have on Zoho, we can now proceed and install the live WhatsApp chat extension within your CRM. So in this case, what you can do is to choose either the button or a widget. Both can actually allow you to see the same WhatsApp chat view. But in this case, we're going to work with the button. So we're gonna click here and you'll be taken to a Zoho page where you're going to configure the extension that we're going to be installing here. So first of all, we have to take these check boxes here, then we click on continue, and then you'll be presented with these options. So we always recommend going with install for all users, as this will allow you to have your entire team members access and use this particular WhatsApp chat view. Keep in mind that this will be uh, dependent on whether or not your team members have connected their own Zoho user profile accounts with their Timelines AI user profiles. If you have invited those team members to your Timelines AI workspace using the same email address that they have on Zoho, then they will be able to connect their respective Zoho profiles within their own Timelines AI user profiles, allowing them to use then the WhatsApp chat view that you're gonna be configuring here. So using the install for all users is then a recommended, I would say option during this particular installation process. So we're gonna click on confirm, and then the system will inform you that we are uh, installing this uh, particular extension within your Zoho ZRM. So you can then use it within the leads, for example. All right, so now that we have installed this extension, you'll be taken to this specific landing page where we're going to inform you that everything has been successfully configured. Now we can go to one of the leads that we have on Zoho. And in this case, I will just refresh this page. And now that we are here, we're going to open the live WhatsApp chat view by going to this downward button. We have to click on it and then select the live WhatsApp chat view here. You will notice that we have synchronized all the entire conversation that we have with the contact, those messages that have been sent uh, along with their attachments. And you will also see the messages that the contact has been sending, including uh, any attachments and also reactions and emojis that have been uh, exchanged during the conversation. Now, in this case, keep in mind that you can always send a regular message, for example. We can send that one. We can also include attachments and emojis in case you want to send a more, uh, I would say, personalized message to the contact you can just send it and keep in mind that you can always send a message by uh pressing the control enter uh keys within uh, on your keyboard in this case or you can just click on this button both actions are going to send the message that you are um, in this case typing it also you can create templates on timelines that can be used here on, on zoho uh, to answer those frequently asked questions by just, um, in this case, pressing the slash key on your keyboard, you will see that the system will load those templates that you have created on timelines to continue the conversation with this contact. So in this case, I will just send a test template, regular test template here, and I will send a message. You can see the message has been sent. And in this case, you are going to be able to interact with the contact. If they send you a message, you will see it here as well. And this will be the same behavior that your team members will notice whenever they use the chat view. And do not worry about these loading loops here. These are just uh, informing that you have recently sent the messages. If I just come here and close the window and reopen it, you will see that those loops uh, will be away and gone in this case. Also, the system will inform you that the message was sent from the Zoho UI. This will also show up on timelines for your reference. And lastly, I would like to mention the specific details that you will see within the live chat uh, view here on Zoho. For example, you will see that you're sending messages on behalf of a user. Um, in this case, it can be yours or it can be a user from um, timelines. For example, let's say if you're sharing a WhatsApp account, you will also see that here 
And also, you will see the contact's uh, name, including their phone number in full, full international format, along with their chat ID, which is a unique identifier. As you can see, the ID is hyperlinked. So if I click on that ID, I will be taken to that chat on timelines to review it from there as well. You'll notice that messages have been synchronized here. And uh, by extension, these have been synchronized within the WhatsApp mobile app. If you're having a conversation with a new contact here on Zoho, you will see the contact uh, here. The system will be able to detect it. And you can start a new conversation with that contact that's been detected here if we have those new contacts available. But in general terms, this is how the chat view works. Also keep in mind that the lead owner here will always be assigned to that particular Zoho user that also has their Timeless AI linked. Um, in this case, using the same email address that they have on Zoho. So if you have inv invited a team member to your workspace and they are having a conversation with a contact, the system will be able to detect their specific email address. And if the system finds a match on Zoho, will uh, automatically assign their profile as the owner of said lead here on Zoho. So that's basically it when it comes to how this integration works. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We'll be more than glad to assist you. You can always send us a message by clicking on this bubble here. So you can receive assistance from our support and guide you through uh, the process or even answer your questions. Thank you very much for your time. Have a good one.